Hello, I'm Jody Brenner Ginsburg of Ginsburg Law Offices. Today I want to talk to you about temporary total disability benefits. Those are the very specific income benefits that someone will get when they're injured on the job and either the doctor who's authorized has taken them out of work, can't work at all and they get a weekly benefit check, or the doctor who's authorized has placed them on a light duty status and the employer does not have light duty work or sedentary work and they also there are entitled to a weekly benefit check. Those weekly benefit checks are specifically to, due to the gross average weekly wage of what the employee earned for the 13 weeks just prior to the injury date. So we always look at what's the injury date, we go 13 weeks prior, we add up those gross wages, not the net wages, the gross wages, divide by 13, we come up with the gross weekly average wage, and then the employee up gets 66 and two-thirds percent with certain caps and depending upon the year that you get hurt will determine what cap your amount of weekly checks can be. So if you make a million dollars a year, you may only be able to get 675 or 725 a week or coming up uh, in July of 2023, it's gonna change to $800 a week. That's the max, okay? What you need to understand is how to calculate that and how to, un and how to make sure that you're getting the proper TTD check. If you haven't worked for the employer within 13 weeks, there are other ways that we can look at it, whether it's a quote contract rate or whether there's a similarly situated employee who may have worked the same job and we can look at their wages and we do that through the employer. The point is that you should always make sure that you are getting what is due you and understand how those wages are determined as opposed to just getting a check and saying, oh, I guess that's correct, okay? We look at it very carefully to make sure that our clients are getting the exact amount and if they're not, we're able to go back to the insurance company and point out why. It's also very important that you keep up with your pay stubs, whether you actually get a physical check every week or every two weeks, or you get direct deposit, that you completely have access to that so that if we need to paste everything back together again to see what those wages look like, we have access to it through you. If you want to talk about your workers' compensation benefits, how to figure out whether you're getting paid properly each week, please give me a call. You can reach me at 770-351-0801. Thank you. Hi, this is Jody, and I hope you found this video helpful. If you'd like to know more about all rights and benefits available to you under the Georgia Workers' Injury Laws, I'd like to invite you to download my Georgia Workers' Compensation Survival Kit that I created for folks just like you. Some of the topics I cover include, can I get fired for filing a work injury claim? Eight critical mistakes to avoid. Is it true that the insurance company will hire a private investigator to follow me around and videotape my activities? What happens when the insurance company is late with my weekly wage payments? Seven specific tactics I recommend to maximize your case settlement value. If you or a loved one needs to maximize your recovery from your Georgia workers' compensation claim, you'll find this survival kit important reading. Download your survival kit right now and at no cost. Just visit my website and sign up. It's that easy. Please act now, and as always, I wish you the best.